I love play dead games. I absolutely love them even though that they have only made two games which are Limbo and Inside. These two games are both just amazing. You can watch my review on both of them. Their link is in the description. First, we are going to talk about Limbo, Claydet's first game and why I think it's classic. Warning, there are going to be spoilers in this video for both Limbo and Inside. You have been warned. Limbo, which is played at first game, was released way back in 2010 for Xbox Live and is now an open platform image even Linux. Its world is dark and gloomy and has a sad vibe to it, just like my soul. The game starts with a little boy running through a forest. You encounter many humanoid creatures and some mind-boggling puzzles. Unfortunately, I never got to play this on a PS4, I played this on my iPad. I really want my, a PS4, but my father won't buy it for me. And thank the gods that Inside came to iOS. Anyway, Limbo has soundtrack which send chills down your spine and will make you uncomfortable. Here's an example. Limbo has sold over 6 million copies and has received more than 10 awards. But there's something special about Limbo. It's gory deaths. Deaths in Limbo are very brutal and at the start of the game you die a lot of times. Whenever you die, you get a very brutal death that startles you and makes you realize that the world of Limbo is a very cruel and brutal one. But do you want to know what separates it from a masterpiece? The third half of Limbo. The third half of Limbo, to mostly all the people, are boring. Well, not that boring, but a little bit. The first half is the forest area and the spider. The second area was the cogs and the third area is what takes place after those two halves. The third half of the game shifts from a horror thriller tone to an unsettling puzzle solver. It really takes a lot of people off including me. The second thing is the ending. The ending was stale to me because after bo after boring third half of the game you see your sister and she gets startled and that's it, that's the ending of Limbo. Literally no one likes the ending to Limbo. The third thing I hate about this game is that the deaths are frustrating around the third half of the game. Deaths in the third half of the game are frustrating compiled with its boredom. The third half of the game is very frustrating and boring I can tell you that. But still, Limbo is a great game. I consider it a classic because it was the first one of its genre and style and tone. It is now 8 years old as of 2018 and I think it's old enough to be considered and classic. Now, I'm going to talk about Inside, played at second game. Inside, as I said, as a masterpiece in my eyes, and Limbo is a classic, as I discussed in the Limbo topic. As I said in the previous video, there are going to be spoilers in this video from the game Inside, and it will practically spoil the ending for you. So if you haven't played the game, go play it. It's amazing. And if you have played the game, and have come to watch my video then well let's continue then after the release of Limbo Playdead went dark for six years yep Playdead really took a lot of time to work on this game and it probably paid off anyway after six years in 2016 the trailer of Inside was released and that's when 
the hype of Insta Insight started coming. IGN, Kotaku, Polygon, all of them were excited about this one and had high hopes that Playdead would make this game a masterpiece. And, you know, they actually did that. They actually did. You know, that's the thing that is really amazing about Playdead. They, they exceed our expectations. And that's what I love about it. When Inside, was, when Inside was released, it got a 10 out of 10 on IGN, 9.5 on Kotaku, 10 out of 10 on Poppy Gamer, and 9.75 on Eurogamer. And it has got over 100 awards. So yeah, this game is a pretty damn good game. You should play it, I would say. But if you don't want and have some doubts, then I'm going to tell you why it's a masterpiece and why you should obviously play it. Point number one, it's ending. Unlike Limbo's ending, it's limbo ending is just mind-blowing. And, uh, you know, the best thing about Inside is that it's gameplay, it's story. Even though you have to figure out the story and there are thousands of theories on that. And even I've made a theory on that. So you can check out my video. Uh, and it's on my channel and you can watch it. It's pretty damn good. So yeah, this game keeps you entertained through the whole gameplay. And somehow Inside has thousands of fresh ideas and unlike Limbo during the third half as I said it gets boring, this never gets boring. Even when you finish the game and its ending will leave you speechless. This game is just some, you know, marvel. And as I said that I played this game on an iOS device and well, you know, I blame that on my father. Anyway. I'm going to tell you some things that you might have not known. Inside has sold 4 million copies on both consoles combined and has sold 756,000 copies on a PC. Now that's some success. And from this we know that Playdead made so much money out of this game. And I think they deserve it. So we can easily say that it's better than Limbo, and Limbo is a masterpiece, so you know what I'm going to say, right? Yeah, this game is a masterpiece. So thanks guys for watching my video, please subscribe and like, and I'll upload more videos. So, see you later.